it's kind of like, you know, you have N situations that you can get involved in. And it's like I was saying, no two games are the same. Never. Never. <laughs> yeah. so it kind of it works out. Um, so, to move on a little bit, what brought, let's put it this way. When you started playing games, what what did you what did you start playing on PC console? What console? What 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 was your first experience in gaming? I started playing. I would say around. So I was born in two thousand three. Okay. I would say I started playing around like two thousand and six, two thousand seven. And if I remember correctly, my first console was a GameCube or a Dreamcast. Okay. It was one of those two. Okay. Oh, that's, but yeah. That's, I mean, you, 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 you came in when technology was already starting to push up a little bit. Things were a little different. I mean, but that, that, yeah. that's not a bad time to start. You know, you're at that beginning of the change from like the, the more linear flat images to more, you know, 3D kind of playing and stuff like that. So, I mean, it, it was yeah. a good time. Uh, what ge- What was your first game that you played? I believe it was Star Fox. Oh, shoot. Okay. Wow. That's, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's the first... You're actually the first person that I hear say that they started on Star Fox. That's the game that... I love that game so much. <laughs> yeah, it's a game that people don't talk about too much, for sure. I mean, not that it's a bad game, don't get me wrong. It's not a bad game. It's just not people talk to the. It's always like the same thing, Mario, or or Sonic or something like that. It's not. It's it's a kind of an unusual game for a start. And, I mean, yeah. It's good to hear though. It's very good to hear that you know diversity. Um, yeah. When well, at what point did you decide, or you know, what made you decide to start being more in the competitive gaming, let's put it that way, with the streaming and all that. That all started when Black Ops 2 came out. I'm pretty sure that, like, kind of inspired everybody when, like, Phase really began and started popping off. Mm-hmm. Um, I would always, like, do trick shots. I always had clips of them. I believe I still have the clips somewhere, but that would, like, take a while to find. But... Most of the time, yeah, it started off in Black Ops 2. And then I would say a few months after is when I started building, like, a little friend group that I would actually, like, play Search and Destroy with and, like, do trick shots and all that. Okay. I mean, that's Black Ops 2. That's that's actually not a, not, that's a pretty good game to, to start with. It's, it's good to hear. I mean, and now, let's, how long have you been streaming? On Twitch, I've been streaming on Twitch for about three, four years. Okay. Recently, I started popping off because one of my TikToks blew up, and that got me a lot of like publicity, which helped out a lot. Good thing you talk about TikTok. Do you, before TikTok, what were you using basically to put your material out? I would use YouTube. I'm sure as like every like little kid did back then. They would just upload like little like bad quality clips, but like some some of them are like hidden treasures because I've seen some like really bad quality clips, but like they're hitting like amazing shots, like great gameplay and all that. Mm. And it would just like amaze me, and that's what like got me inspired to like keep going and continue trying to better myself and better my videos. Of course, but do you feel that with the introduction of t- of TikTok, do you feel that? How am I gonna put this question? Do you feel that people are using TikTok a lot more than like usual, uh, um, social media like Twitter and and, and stuff like that? Or do you do you think that Twitch is being used more in the way of gamers and streamers to put their product out there? Um, believe it or not, I agree that TikTok is being used more than any other social media because I love the way TikTok works because there is no formula to TikTok. You make a good video, you get good views. There is no, like, hidden secret to, like, blowing up or anything. You just gotta constantly put out amazing videos, good quality. And, yes, people do use TikTok more, but that's because it's an amazing 
like application to get your stuff out there but for like twitch and all that i would say it's 50 50 because you do see a lot of big streamers streaming on youtube like say valkyrie the disrespect mm -hmm. i think Tatman started streaming on YouTube as well, or Tat, his mixer yeah. or something like no, that. No, Tatman, uh, Courage, and Dr. Lupo, the last three months, three weeks, they just all signed massive contracts with Twitter, with Twitter, with uh, with YouTube, and they just shifted over. So you got, yeah. a, you got a big quad over there of Tatman, Courage, yeah. Lupo, and, and Tatman now playing. So yeah, that's recent. That's yeah. very recent. Yeah, but like I said, it, I say it's 50-50. Okay. Do you think it's easier to put your product out on TikTok compared to... I, I know YouTube has the whole entire algorithm BS. That's why I don't yeah. I don't even... Although it's, you know, you you do put... You, you, a lot of people do put their stuff out there on it, but I don't even bring that into the conversation just because of the algorithm that it's just... I. Yeah. Can't even understand it, and I don't even try to understand it. So that's why I don't even, you know, talk about it. That's more like the Twitter and, and TikTok. Do you think Twitter is easier than TikTok? Uh, TikTok is easier than oh God, easier than Twitter to to promote your product. Most definitely. Okay. Like I say, like on my Instagram, I upload pictures or mm -hmm. like video clips. They'll get like a few views, few likes. I go onto my TikTok, post one video. Let's just say it's like not as good as the one that I posted on my Instagram. That one will get like, I think on my account it's like minimum a thousand views. There you go. And then like, it'll like just start helping me. And then recently, I'm trying to start doing like streamer tips and all that. Okay. Because I know a lot of people like really need help trying to start. Because the gaming community on TikTok is huge, and I just want to you know try to at least help the community. Okay. Do you, do you think that, now, this is more of more, I could think it's more like a technical kind of thing, but do you think, when you post on TikTok, what do you feel that gives you more views? A smaller, a shorter video, like a 10 second video or something, or, or do you think video a little bit bigger gives you more, um, more hits and more views? I say a mix of both. Like, try to, like, stick, like, if you're gonna do, like, a regular upload schedule for TikTok, it's kind of like YouTube, to have a decent schedule. Um, I say stick with shorter, like, more, like, to-the-point videos, and then, like, like, say, like, you're uploading, like, five videos a week. Okay. Do, like, three or four short videos, and then one longer video. Especially now on TikTok, now that we have like a three minute length videos, those are gonna help out a lot of creators. Cause like a lot of people like use that to like introduce them, put in like longer gaming clips so they could see that they're not like just trying to do it for the views. They're actually trying to like reach out and like grow. Gotcha. I mean, makes sense. I'm not too, 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 you know, I don't know too much about TikTok. That's why I asked. Cause I know, in my head, TikTok is like, 10 second videos and you know, those short videos I didn't realize that now you can actually put you know more like into one two minute videos which I that was something that pushed me away a little bit from TikTok was you know if you're going to put something out it had to be short so you really had to be precise on what you're going to put that it's what you want it's not like you can't put yeah. too much before too much after you have to put you know straight it's straight to the point thing be yeah it's like you're saying having the possibility to put longer videos does kind of help creators that they don't have to be so restricted into what they put. It makes sense. Yeah. And especially out. now that they added the sponsorship and the paid algorithm into it. Okay. Well, it's not really an algorithm. It's more of like a feature where like if you do get a sponsor, you could link them into the video and it'll put their link or at automatically into the description where obviously you'll get paid and they'll get their publicity that they wanted which helps out a lot of small creators that are trying to grow hmm, very good that's, that's, for everybody who's listening out there if you want to start putting out you know product here you go straight from somebody who does put stuff on on tiktok you know that little 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 tips so you know keep your keep your ears open you know and 
pay attention to what people are saying because you know it's like i said i'm learning something new myself that i didn't even know existed in tiktok like uh, to me it was like yeah. 10 second videos that's it and I'm like, mm, 10 yeah. i I stream I for four or five hours. How am I going to cut down something into ten seconds? You know, out of four hours, it's a little rough to pick what. Yeah, that's you want. what I used to do. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's rough. But I recommend starting off on TikTok instead of YouTube because TikTok you'll get a lot more like publicity. You'll get a lot more people to actually watch your views because the way YouTube works, if you don't have a certain amount of like subscribers or views, you won't get put onto people's recommended pages. Mm. It's just dumb, oh, considering the fact that like now you it's so much harder to grow on youtube because of the fact that everybody that's on youtube sticks to their like original creators that like subscribe to nobody really looks for smaller streamers anymore yeah. or creators because everybody's focused on the big people with like millions of subs like it's crazy to think that now a million subs is such a small amount compared to everybody else now right i mean how long, how long has YouTube been around? How many people does YouTube have on it? I mean, yeah, it's, uh, you YouTube's would think been around for a while. You would think a million is a big number, but no, it's just you know, five million, ten million is I still think is considered a small number on YouTube. Like if it, it, on on Twitch, a million followers is a decent, is a nice yeah, number. Yeah, that's a big chunk. A million followers like, on even YouTube. right now. Like, even right now, I have 2.4k followers, and if you go into, like, Twitch stats searching, I'm in the top 1% of Twitch, which is crazy to think about. Wow. And that's such a small amount compared to a lot. Well, it's, like, nah, it's actually not that small of an amount. 2.4k no. followers could get you a lot on Twitch. True. But it's just crazy to think about compared to all these big streamers, that 2.4k alone, I'm in the top 1% of Twitch. Because of the following, of course. Yeah. I mean, but it, it's not the thing about Twitch. I think is not all just by the followers that you have. It's, it's also about how, you can have those like many followers. Easy. Yeah, if you have like per stream, you out of the two K, if you can have a couple of hundred on your watching you while you stream, it makes a difference. To compare like smaller streamers can have let's say two or three hundred followers but they probably have one or two people watching their stream at a time it makes a difference it's like you say yeah. it, it 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 you it sounds like a small number but it's well yeah. it, it's not that it's not a small it is a small number if you look at numbers themselves but it's just there's so many people streaming right now on twitch that the following is so distributed throughout everybody who streams that it, it makes it possible for somebody to have a couple of hundred or a couple of thousand followers and be in that top tier percent because there's just so many people that have the same amount of num same amount of streamers of followers as you and meanwhile yeah. on youtube it's like you say you can have a million followers and it's nothing because it's like one of my friends on youtube hmm. um his name is like Ryan. I don't mind throwing his name out there because <laughs> he's perfectly fine with it. Um, his YouTube channel, Dime Family, has about 7,000 subscribers and he goes around and it's just crazy because once he hits 7,000, he hasn't really been growing because obviously the views start to drop and then YouTube just doesn't care anymore. Because like the way it works, if you're not being consistent or growing consistently, they just don't care about you anymore. And I guess it's kind of the same way with Twitch because Twitch doesn't really help out their creators. Nope. Twitch just sits there and collects the money. Yep. That's why all these guys are leaving. And they're yeah. taking their followers with them. <laughs> you know, it's 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 you know, it's like you see when 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 disrespect left well, was kind of not left when he was pushed banned for no reason <laughs> yeah yeah but it's like when he left the number number of people that he took with him you can feel it you you feel it because regardless of him having all those followers while he was on twitch you know those followers were still there to look at other people now he leaves with his community of a couple of you know million good million people like i don't know how many million he had but now that all these people went over to YouTube, 
they're not paying attention to Twitch anymore. So it's like you lose that following. And yeah. now you have Lupo, who has a massive community. Now you have also Tim the Tatman and Courage. Mm -hmm. I mean, between those four, how many hundreds of million followers did they take with them? That's a, that's probably a, almost 50, to be honest. Because like on Twitch, they were like, uh, they were like the biggest ones mm -hmm. on Twitch, like mm -hmm. some of the biggest ones on Twitch. Okay. So if I had to guess, I would say about around 30 to 50 million people they took with them back to YouTube. Easy, and they probably those people probably don't even think about coming back to watch people on Twitch. Guaranteed. Yeah, most definitely not. <laughs> so it's like you know, it, it it hurts. It's like you know, it it, it it's. And it hurts Twitch too in their pocket, if you think about it, because they're not collecting on those, on those followers that left and now are not subbed somewhere else or don't go sub somebody else. It it it, it hurts their pocket too. So I mean, I don't know if you're in the same opinion as me, but I actually think that it was a good thing that these guys left in a way, in in one way, being that you know it kind of puts the fire under Twitch's you know butt to change yeah. change things in a positive positive way. Um, so it kind of like, hopefully they start listening to the community and doing the right thing, you know, I mean, that's my opinion. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for at least, to like at least like begin to help smaller streamers and all that. Right, I mean, it's, it's that thing is like small streamers like us, we, you know, we don't have the possibility of having these contracts that the guys have. So once you're hit in on, on affiliate, you're basically locked into Twitch. And you know it, it, it's it's not like you can pick up and move because you know you have it's not like a contract, but you kind of like when you when you click off, you know I agree, you're kind of screwed. You don't and you don't have the possibility yeah. of getting a contract to go somewhere else. So it's it's it, it's it, it's a screwed up thing. It's it's rough, especially for us small guys. It's for them big guys, they can leave. They don't care. They have all these people behind them. They have their lawyers and all that stuff. They have nothing to worry about. Cause guys like us, small guys, you know, small streamers that are, are affiliates or are borderline, you know, passing to the next level, those are the guys that have to worry because, you know, they don't, the Twitch doesn't actually do too much for us, you know, if, yeah. if you think about it. You know, we do more for them being that, you know, we have the people that sub us, that's money in their pocket. Just, Especially considering the fact they take half of how much people pay for the sub. Yep, and it t and it takes for you to even see the check. You still have to have a certain amount of money that was subbed in for you to get your first check. Yeah. Meanwhile, minimum is a hundred. Yeah, I and, believe. And meanwhile, they already pocketed. So it's like you know, it, it's it's rough, but I mean, in in my it, the. On my side, I have nothing to complain about Twitch. Um, yeah. I'd say if you want to help out a creator on Twitch, um, I wouldn't recommend subbing. I say donate them bits instead of subbing because you get the full, like, compensation of the bits instead of the sub because Twitch takes half of the sub. So if you do want to help out, like, your favorite creators, I recommend doing bits because they get the full compensation and they don't have to worry about Twitch taking half of it. That's that's for sure. But I, I mean, yeah, that's You can still sub, don't get me wrong. I mean, Oh yeah, no, uh, I'm not complaining about that. Please do. The best thing you could best thing you could do for a Twitch streamer prime sub, that's all I'm saying. It doesn't come out you of your pocket. Full, you get the full compensation and it's free for you. Yeah, 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 that's for sure. I mean, if you want to go, you know, more than a month or two or two months at one time that's a little different but if you just you know use your prime it's just only screwed up that you they, they should give like each person like three or four like three a month yeah three or four primes per person just, one. yeah it's like that's really like try, you're literally trying to you know blind not even blindly like eyes wide open take people's money it's like yeah, yeah. we're gonna give you one free but everything else that you want you're gonna have to pay, <laughs> but I mean, it, it's streamers like us, you know, small guys, we have to fight and grind. But then again, these big streamers, how long have these guys been around? I mean, 
Yeah, they've been around for a minute. Doctor Disrespect before Twitch was around, he was on YouTube already streaming and Look at PewDiePie. <laughs> he right. was one of the first YouTube creators. Yep. Now he has what, like over fifty million subscribers? Right. Yeah, it's like these guys have been around for like ten, fifteen years plus, stuff like that. So it's not like, you know like I only started it's been a year. March was my first year streaming. I mean, there's guys that have been streaming less than me. It's, yeah. you know, every every day there's, like, you know, new people. People want to try to do it. Yeah. They want to try to make it. I use my community. I use my community to try to help out smaller streamers. Hmm. I always do this at the end of the streams, and so do all my friends that I stream with. The raids? At the end of our streams, yeah, we raid it out to a smaller streamer. Yeah. And just try to help out anybody that we can. No, for sure. There's there's, there's a there's a lot of people that do that. Like, there's a lot of there's definitely a lot of people that do that. And you know, everybody in the community I think appreciates when you get like a like a a raid or a host by somebody you don't know, and they bring in, you know, even if it's just two or three people just to watch. I mean, it it helps, and it's it does it, it helps a lot. You would think not, but. Like, 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 sometimes I'll do that. I'll go, like, raid somebody, and I'll have just... Because if it, I, I stream late, so normally I have, like, one or two people watching. Like, if it's 3, 4, 5 in the morning, I'll just go raid somebody. I, sometimes I feel like, yeah, I'm going in raiding with one person. It's like... Eh, but but then once you do it, you see the person's face light up and all that. They're just, like, so appreciative. Exactly. exactly. It is appreciate. You know, you appreciate anything that anybody does because it's helpful. You know, at the end of the day, it helps. Well, I love the Twitch community. Everybody's, like, so wholesome. Nobody's really, like, toxic towards each other. Everybody tries to help out. Yes, that's for sure. That's for sure. And Unlike you, YouTube. <laughs> YouTube. YouTube is just you, you, and you. Doesn't care. Yeah. Be honestly. It's, it, I don't even think you have the option to go to other people's streams like that. It's just you, you. It's me, myself, and I. That's all it is. It's, honestly. But, I mean... I also think the YouTube, streaming on YouTube, it's a little bit more complicated. Just the way it works, the way it looks. It's just, Twitch yeah. is much more simple, <laughs> much more straight up. Um, even even Facebook gaming, it looks a little, a little... It, I haven't it's, even seen that yet. Yeah, it, 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 it looks easier than, tw than Twitch, than uh, YouTube, but it's just, YouTube just looks a little, I don't know. It just looks strange to me. But then, I mean, I'm used to Twitch, that's why. You know, Twitch is easy. Twitch yeah. is simple. It's just straight up. It's not... There's no, 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 no... It just, it just looks better. Visually, it looks better. Like, YouTube, you go in, it's like... You don't know if you're looking at the video. You don't know if you're looking at the stream. It's strange. But... Yeah. Getting back into the conversation about you, sir. So... You started with Modern Warfare 2. What do you think, since you started streaming, would be your... Okay, we, we, know, we said you have played a lot more Apex and stuff like that. But what would you think, since you started until now, would probably be your, the game that you liked streaming the most? The game that I enjoyed streaming the most when I first began... Would probably be. I would say this is gonna be a very controversial <laughs> game. Hmm. I would say Advanced Warfare. Oh! I know a lot of people hated that game. We don't talk that I name. Enjoy it. <laughs> we don't pronounce it. I enjoyed that. it. I enjoyed it because it added a whole new skill gap, and I guess you could say the people who didn't understand it are the ones that really hated the game. The mechanics were amazing. I hated the pay to win. That's the one thing I hated. Yes. Um, for sure. But that's what like really like turned around the gaming community because games from there on started adding like like how they had in there supply drops, things you could buy in game, mm -hmm. a lot more in game purchases, more like vanity items. Mhm. Mm and yeah, and then again. I'd say that was probably my favorite game to stream at the beginning. But now it's de most definitely Apex because I run into a lot of people who, like, after I kill them, they, like, message me. They're like, oh, my God, I watch your videos or, like, I sh watch your stream. And I'm just like, oh, thank you. Mm. <laughs> it's see, just fun to see. 
See, Advanced Warfare is that child that you keep locked in the in the closet underneath the stairs and you never let him out when you have people coming. We don't... That game is never talked about. <laughs> that was the disgrace of the... Oh, oh, oh. Of the Call of Duty community, nah, I'd say I'd say Infinite Warfare was a disgrace. That thing didn't even last a year. In, uh, Infinite uh, Advance started it. Infinite killed it. They tried so hard <laughs> to come with that new kind of. No, yeah, that they, they came with. Oh yeah, it's gonna be boots on the ground. The the walls, the ground. The it was boots on the ground, <laughs> but we weren't on the ground. We right. were in space. It was just it was just too much. It, it's like I said, that's. The, that's the unwanted child. That's like when you have, when you're asked, who's your favorite kid? That you'll never put that kid in conversation. <laughs> no. It's like you know, it's like every, it's, it's, it's. I think what they're trying to do now with the whole, and maybe I don't know if you're in the same, um, opinion as me with the whole thing of trying to go back into like World War, World War Two kind of era. Oh yeah, with the Vanguard. I, new Call of Duty game. I, yeah. I I understand what they're trying to do. Cause that's I just what, don't think it's the time. <laughs> no, I, that's not what I don't think that's what it is. It's just you know, I I, I they I know understand I understand kind of that they feel that the community and you know it's visual that the community is trying to is getting away from them, and I yeah. think that kind of they think okay let's listen to the community maybe that'll help. Bring them back. That isn't the issue. The issue that the community wants Activision to fix is the anti cheat. Mm -hmm. What anti cheat? Exactly. <laughs> like, look. What anti cheat Apex. are we talking about? Because I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> like, if you load it to Apex, the first thing you see is that little brown, no, mm -hmm. brown, the little blue bear that says anti cheat. Yep. And even. That's the one thing people have been begging for. Yeah. Like, Activision, the way they listen to their community, the community's like, no, we don't want this. Activision's like, okay, we'll add more. Oh, yeah, we'll ban 70,000 accounts. Go the next day, go check how many accounts, is, how many new accounts they got. 70,000. Exactly. It's all about the ching. It's all about the money. Yeah. That's the whole thing. That's all they care about. There is no anti-cheat in, in Call of Duty right now. There is none. There's <laughs> their their anti cheat is let's ban a couple of numbers so we can quiet people down. It I'm taking bets on there's gonna be no anti cheat in Vanguard. They say it has its own anti cheat. They say that's what, that's what they said about Modern Warfare. <laughs> say, yeah, it's it, I don't know. It's it's just Blizzard Entertainment has been falling down a lot with their anti cheat as well because I heard Overwatch Two isn't gonna have an anti cheat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But again, the Overwatch community is kind of dead it's not but dead I it's very it. it's very it's very confined it's diff it's a different type of community yeah. but i enjoy that game i can't wait till the second one comes out till oh, i play it but now if you go into like games it's so much harder to find a game it's more into private lobbies and then once you go into a private lobby it's obviously hackers just messing around yeah no that's for sure that's for sure i mean i was looking forward yeah. to diablo 4 and now i don't even know if i want to invest into it yeah. And that's a game that our community, Diablo community, has been asking for maybe 15 years? No, not 15, because Diablo 3 came out, but that game, I don't know. It's just for the way they're coming out with it, it seems like, you know, we've been waiting for it for a very long time, and now I'm a little... Yeah. Am I going to invest? It's like Call of Duty. I've bought every Call of Duty since Modern Warfare 3. I've skipped a few because I wasn't interested. No, I was stupidly it, the guy that invested in Infinite and Advanced and gave up on it probably a week or two into it. And I the bought... The Call of Duty I hated was World War Two. I didn't enjoy that game at all. Okay. I mean, it, it, it's it's different. I mean, I like the remake that they did of, 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 what was that, of Modern Warfare, of Modern Warfare 2, I think it was. The remake. It was the remaster. That was yeah, nice. The of Modern Warfare. That yeah, was... that game I enjoyed. I that... thoroughly played that. Yeah, that was pretty good. Um, I mean, yeah. I'm looking forward to it in a way, but I'm really not looking forward to giving them my money. So it's a little. It's I don't know if it's going to be the first game that I don't pre-buy of them. I don't even know yeah, if I'm no. going to buy it. I'm very. I think I'm going to be one of those guys that's going to wait like a month or two. Let's see what happens. How yeah, it looks. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. See the complaints, and then I'll think about it because you know it's just. The cheating. Go to the 
go to the reviews. <laughs> it's like mixed. Yeah. Like some people hate it, some people love it. Oh, go see the top streamers, see what they say. I mean, you got, like, those four guys are all, they're all sponsored by Activision, I think it is. Like, they're called, they're Call of Duty streamers. They got contracts. And they still complain about yeah. the game. <laughs> <laughs> they still complain about it. Fuck it. Yeah. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, let's see what I, I'm looking forward to. Battlefield. That I am. I, I think we. One of the games that I was looking forward to that just recently released was Naraka Blade Point. It's another battle royale. It is the biggest skill gap I have ever seen in a game. If you're good at it, nobody else is gonna be able to beat you because that game is all melee and one-on-one -on -one frontier combat. Okay. That's a little. It, is it a little bit like? You say it's a battle royale, but is it is it like um, oh Ghost of Tsushima? That was a massive open world type, but it was yeah, kind of like that. But it wasn't it's like, a battle royale though. Yeah, it's it's basically that. It's a open world battle royale. Um, obviously all melee weapons, all Japanese mythology based. Okay, interesting. It's, it's an amazing game though. I love it so much. The graphics are amazing. It was made by a team of fifteen creators, and guess what? They have an anti-chi Activision. Fix your stuff. No. Well, I, I... Being that it's a melee, I mean, maybe it's easier for them to make an anti-chi for it. Maybe it's a little bit more restricted than... I don't know. But it's just sad that 15 people made that game and Activision has, what, over, like, 2 million employees and they still can't do that? They're more worried about doing crazy stuff to their females. Um, let's move on. <laughs> yeah, I think they're more worried about being a fraternity than actually listening to the community. Don't doubt that. <laughs> uh, it's freaking, I don't, I don't know, man. It's just, I think that they've, they're so blindsided by money that it's just, things have just gotten too out of control. Just, it's out of control. And, yeah. Uh, I mean, the only, I, I keep on saying the only way to fix it, clean house, top to bottom. Start all the way up. Work your way down, clean house. I yeah, mean, most definitely. I mean, look at look at look look at the game that I play. Look at look at uh, Escape from Tarkov. It's been a game that has been around for I would say about three four years now, but it's always been in the beta stage. It's been in. Well, yeah, because that it's better to keep the game in beta or early access, as a lot of games say. Because it gives you unlimited options because you could constantly update the game. Yep. Which is why a lot of games recently, like Naraka Blade Point, it's quote-unquote still in beta. Same thing with Splitgate. It's quote-unquote still in beta, but we all know the game is fully released. Splitgate has been out for quite a while. Yep. And obviously just recently it started taking off. But because of that, it's just... It just helps to know that it's working compared to different, like, games that aren't trying at all. Yes, that's true. But, I mean, like, Escape from Tarkov, it's really a beta. Like, they're still building the game. Like, the game's not even 50% yeah. done. And we're talking about 3, 4, no, more. 2017, 16, 17, something like that is when they started with it. It's still, you know, just bef uh, just about a couple of months ago, we had a, a, a game restarted was a restart of the game because they added uh they added a, a new mechanics and stuff like that to the game which they do that every six to eight months just fresh slate start over again everybody start everything new um this they still have maps that are under 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 production but they want it when it comes out that it comes out perfect they want yeah a perfect product they don't want garbage like but that's why I support those games that like stay in beta because yeah. if you're if the game is registered as beta the creators could constantly update it if there's an issue because if you have a fully released game you have to schedule the update yep you have to redo everything but no if the game is in beta you could just constantly update it say like yep. you update it once and you like there's an issue with that update you could update it again the day right after yeah, that's the whole thing. It's just I like the game. Uh, to me, it's probably one of the best, probably one of the best first-person shooters ever made. And I'm not joking. And I, I stand by, I stand my ground on that. And it's not even a full game yet. 
that's yeah. what that's what's it, and it doesn't even have an anti cheat but it doesn't need one because regardless of there there are cheaters yes but there's no anti cheat and the quantity of cheaters in this game is not even a, 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 a an inch compared to what Call of Duty has and it's supposed to have an anti cheat that's what's yeah. strange to me I mean, there's cheaters all over the place. Don't get me wrong. There's cheaters all over the place. There's been yeah. cheaters since video games have been made. Only difference is, back in the day, you used to have to put a code. Now, it's programs that you buy. Yeah. <laughs> it's, that's like the difference. Then, you would have to hunt for the code. You would actually, get, like, I remember I had a notebook of, mm -hmm. like, like, I used to, like, grind Mortal Kombat when I was little. I had a notebook full of, like, every single fatality. Right. Like, every, like, button to press, mm -hmm. like, stuff like that back then was amazing. Same thing with GTA. I had a little, like, sticky note inside of, like, my game case that had, like, all the cheat codes and, like, um... Infinite GTA bullets, infinite city. money, infinite health, infinite this, infinite that. But you're not affecting other people's games because it was codes. Now it's just you buy a program from somebody and... And now you're messing with everybody else. You mess... Like... When it was when we just had all these big tournaments, they always would end up in lobbies with cheaters. And you know, so you're talking about cheating people out of tens of thousands of dollars. Yeah, for real. And you're not making a penny because you're not even in the in in the tournament. You're just there to kind of say, "Oh, I killed this guy. I killed that guy." No, you didn't. You I paid. ruined his chances. Yeah, you He's paid. Playing. That's all you're doing. Somebody to give you something. That just ruined somebody who's making a living. It's like, it's like, let's say, it's like somebody walking in the street passes by a job that I'm doing, and without knowing, like I'll stop to, let's say I stop to do what I'm doing to get a drink. Meanwhile, this guy jumps into the hole and destroy, and jumps into my job and destroys everything that I just did and just walks away. It's the same thing. It's like. It's the same concept. Oh, I just paid somebody to give me something so I can destroy everybody's life. That's what it is. And you yeah. get no... You get no... You get nothing in return, man. It's not like you get money or... You get nothing. You're a cheater. You're going to be a cheater all your life. It's... I don't, I don't know. It's just... Like in my game, it's a little bit different because people... The cheaters that are there, the people pay... How am I going to say? The cheaters are not in there so much just to get kills. Because there is an economy in the game. So there's, there's, a, like there's Bitcoin and stuff like that. And it works literally with the price of Bitcoin right now and stuff like that. But you got these cheaters. They go in. And their main thing is to get the most expensive loot that's in it. Find it. Take it out. Yeah. And then go sell it online. That's all it is. But they're getting a monetary, you know, rich, getting money back because they're selling the things that they got. Okay, yeah, it's not that, right, but. Yeah, that market kind of works like uh, CSGO, where like, mm -hmm. get a skin, and if like it's valuable and you don't want it, you can just sell it. Yeah, but that's some, that's legally done. Not in, yeah. in my game, it's not legal. It's it's it, it's different. It's a gray area. It's a different. But still, I mean, you're getting some kind of retribution from it. Call of Duty, you're not. I mean, I, and you can it's I mean it's you can blindly see that they're cheating for Christ's sake. It's not even they don't even try to hide it. <laughs> I mean, you can literally see when people are spectating you, and when you notice that you have five, six, seven people spectating you. Wouldn't you stop? Yeah, yeah keep on going. going. Yep. Then you have dummies that you like. People ask them, show me your task manager, and then they forget to close the cheats. Task manager comes up. Cheats are right there. Exactly. Uh, it's just, I don't know. It's just, it, it, it's. See, now I'm going down the rabbit hole. I, I This is something that I, I really passionately hate and I passionately talk about because it just really to me personally because it screwed up my view of a game that I like playing 
that I had to go yeah. somewhere else. So, you know, it's just, I hate it. I hate it, and I hate that they don't do nothing about it. But, you know, it's... When you, so, <laughs> you're a young buck. You're younger than me, much younger than me. Do you notice when you were in school, um, gaming was a big thing when you were in school? Or do you think it wasn't... Like esports and gaming and competitive gaming and even in the school set, you know, teams and stuff like that. Did you have that kind of stuff in school? Not in my area. Okay. In the way that in the place that I grew up and like when school was Freeport High School, the only thing we really talked about when it came to gaming was like 2K, because most of the time the school was focused on like the actual sport. Because we've been right. undefeated football champions for like three, four years already, and I graduated this year, and again, the only thing they would, like, really talk about when it came to gaming was, like, NBA 2K. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. That's, 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 that's strange, because, like, when you go to college, you would think, when you go to college, that's actually not one of the most focused games on. It's focused, but not, you would think that they would try to focus on something that kids can take with them to college that's strange yeah no okay do you but do you feel that it was that happened just because the school really just didn't care about other games or you think it was more about the community in your area was more focused on that game no it was most definitely the community in my area makes sense then that's different yeah you're not gonna focus on something that people don't want i mean makes sense yeah um like, there was a few people every now and then that, like, I would talk to that, like, obviously talked about different games and all that. Like, during lunch, I would go into, like, the auditorium with, like, some of my friends. We would play, like, D&D. Okay. Um, I was a big nerd. I still am. Don't I worry. enjoy it. We I all are family. nerds. We're a community of nerds. Don't worry about it. <laughs> nerds in disguise who just come out to play games. Meanwhile, during the day... People constantly telling me, especially, like, one of my teachers told me I would never make it in Twitch because yeah. I, at the time I had like 12 followers. If I could just go back and just smack her in the face right now, you know, I would. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's still a thing. I'm, I'm, I'm 38 and I stream. And people tell me, oh, so you, 30, you're old. You're too old. What? You, video games. Woo. Okay. Who cares? Mind your business. Yeah, it's like, you know, it's like, I, I I keep on I I constantly say I don't want to work. My I don't want to yeah. work for the rest of my life. You know I want to be able to be comfortable. You know? I tried working once. I had a part time job. Never again am I working for anybody else but me. I mean I have to work because you know I have a family and and I I I don't make money yet on Twitch and I will. I I keep on saying it and I will. Manifest it. But it's like. Until that happens, unfortunately, I have to, you know, maintain what I do, and I do construction, so I make good money, but it's, you know, I don't want to destroy my body forever, you know, I got kids, I got family, I don't, you know, you don't, you don't want to end up, you know, crumbled, a crumbled person, or... For me, my main income, it's actually not Twitch, um, I sell shoes, like I resell. Okay. But I'm not, like, one of those, like, reselling sharks where they, like, overprice it. I only put the shoes up, like, two, three hundred dollars more than their original price. And, like, these other people putting them up, like, a thousand. That's my main income. Because when I first started selling shoes, on the first week, I made seven hundred dollars. There you go. And now I average about five, six hundred dollars a week. And Twitch just, there's just, like, an extra check that adds onto it. I make, like, one fifty off of Twitch added on to like the 500 600 that i make a week it's pretty it's pretty good mm, there you go i mean it's it's at least you don't have to you know you're not working like you say for somebody else you're working for yourself. Then, okay let let me not continue that kind of you are working for yourself because you still have to give 50 percent back to twitch True. so yeah. like a lot of people that ask me they're like how do I sub? I'm, I'm like, I mean, if I'm being honest, I'd rather you spend the five dollars on bits, <laughs> so I can get the full revenue. Because if from subs you do lose that fifty percent, so it's it's kind if of in a way. Five dollars, yeah. You make two fifty. Yeah. Bits, 
you donate five hundred, we get the full five dollars. Yes. Like. Yes, that's for sure. But it's like, like I still like recommend people to like sub and all that. Like obviously, you know. No. You yeah. No. Promote yourself. Yeah. But. I mean yeah. that that number does count. I mean, even when you go to the next phase, I think it counts how many subs you have. No, for partner, I think you need, like, 50, 50 subs. Yeah, like it's that. more about the 75, the 75, um... Uh, constant viewers. Yeah, viewership for a month. That's what's the rough part. That, <laughs> yeah. That's why it takes people know. years to get there. This is, that's the harder part. Is the, the whole 75 for, for yeah. an hour. It's just... But I mean, it's it, it's it's like I say, it's a grind. It's not an easy grind, and you know, you want it, you gotta go for it. And it's it's a rough one, but it takes time. That's affiliate is easy. You you, you know, it's it, it it's stupid to say, but it's true. Affiliate is the easiest part. Once All you, you need is three. I it, it's like sixty followers and three people viewing. Yep. And then like five people chatting in the chat at the same mm -hmm, time. Mm-hmm. And uh, you have to be streaming for i think on a month on a month period i don't know how many hours 18 hours or something there's a there's something like that yeah it's like right now i hit affiliate yeah okay so now it's not not to go to the to, to the partner all i need is the viewership everything else i already shipped over from when i was affiliate so it's like fuck i still need one out of the whole entire but i'm not even anywhere close to that so it's like you sit on that and you see that number that's the part. You look at that number, you're like, damn. You yeah. get that you get that email at the end of your stream and you're looking at it and you're like, damn. I did it. Damn. <laughs> it's like, damn. I like I see green, green, no green. I'm like, damn. I like see. my friend recently just hit Twitch partner. Okay. And I was so happy for him. And I was just like, yo, this is where like the real stuff begins. Yes, it like, is. Like, now, like, you're not, like, in the little kid phase. Now you're in, like, the full adult area. Like, you're, like, in the VIP. And oh. he's like, yeah, but it doesn't really feel the same. And I was like, well, yeah, because not, not in the play area. Now you're in first class. Mm -hmm. Now partners is basically the doors are open for your real skill set to be kind of... Tested. Not to, no, no, that's not what I mean. It's it's your skill set can be appreciated to the point that you can get sponsors and stuff like that. Once you hit yeah, partners, okay. when you're there, that's when you know. Like that's when you start getting, you know, sponsorship from companies and partnerships and stuff like that. And you know, you keep on pushing to being able to one point also get a contract. So you know, it's like that's that's when you know you made it. Yeah, the one thing I love about him though is that. After he streams, again, he raids it out, and then whenever he's not streaming, he's always hosting somebody. So yeah. he's trying to help out anybody he can, which is why I just, like, have, like, a bunch of respect for that man. No, that's good, too. I mean, yeah, that, that whole hosting thing, you know, people forget about that. When you're offline, your, your, your thing can still be hosting somebody, that's for sure. Yeah. So... What are your more, you know, more near future uh, um, goals? Let's put it that way. What are you looking for? Or what are you trying to, comp you know, let's say in the next year, what are you looking to com to get done in terms of gaming? Um, in terms of gaming, oof, that would probably be get into like an official like Twitch team. Or Eastwood's team for either Apex or Rainbow Six. Okay. But, yeah, I have a few other goals, but, like, in terms of gaming, that's, like, my main goal. That's the only problem of living out here in Long Island is it's just, like... I mean, yeah, you can be seen by teams, but it's just... Locally, outside of school-wise, it's rough. It's rough. It's, it's a rough community. It's not as a rough community, it's just... Like that, that's why us at the Long Island Gaming League are here too, because you know there's nothing out here if you think about it. Like you got yeah. land centers, that's it. There's no teams. There's no, <clears throat> you know, there's nothing to kind of support the community. And that's what we try to do. Only difference is, is we don't have official teams. Um, yeah, no, I was picked up by a few teams 
like in my past, like before I hit affiliate. Okay. I was I remember the names too. Like obviously like I think two of the teams like are shut down now. Like they're not active anymore. Okay. Um the first ever team that I joined was Dragtic. It was a strictly Call of Duty like team. And okay. then I got picked up by Headhunters Gaming, which was straight Apex, uh Destiny two and Rainbow Six okay. that shut down as well. Um, but then I got into Sage Esports, which had a huge following, which helped me, like, boost my morality, I guess you could say. Right. But then, what's it called? I dropped out of there because they never really, like, paid attention to, like, their members. So. It's more about the product um, instead of the people. Yep. And then I got picked up by NorCal Esports. Mm-hmm. Um, but then... Again, I decided to drop because it was the same thing as Sage. Right now, I'm currently working with my friend that hit partner recently. He has a thing called Unwanted Tribe. And I've been grinding for, like, Twitch team member for quite a bit. And he actually, like, focuses, like, on the people. He doesn't really care about the streams. He doesn't care about the money. He just focuses on his, like, the people he's, like being close to to all like all his fans and all that he's very appreciative of like what he has no that's good i mean that's that's what it means i mean it's not so much you know yeah the money is good and revenue and stuff like that but if you don't pay attention to your people nobody's gonna come back Mm -hmm. or nobody's gonna come at all because once you know all you need is one or two people to not be happy everybody knows because you know people have following and all you need is one guy to talk the whole world's gonna know so, you know, it's, you, you got to watch your product. At the end of the day, you still got to take care of your product. And your people are your product. You know? It's like they say, streamers, regardless of streaming be a, being a lonely thing because it's you, you, you. Yeah. You are your product. Your name is your brand. Not your name, but your, your you know, what you call yourself by is your brand. Yeah. So it's like you got to take care of that. If you don't, if you, if you don't take care of that, you know, you you're ruining your image. You're not ruining. You're ruining your product and your image. So you know, it's it's. <laughs> you just reminded me. All right. So Rose was in like the original name. Obviously, I'm sure a lot of people have done this as well. Okay. I've gone through like a series of names, and when you said like your name is your product, I forgot how cringy like my first ever name was that I made. Well, it was like. I based it off of, like, a bad, like, JPEG image that I found off of Google, where it was, like, a skull on a bomb, and then my first name, like, that I ever made was Skull Bomb, and it was just, ugh, I just, like, now that I'm thinking about it, it's just so cringy. I mean, there's crazy names out there, there are for sure, Then you have other names, but it's like, at the end of the day, a name is just a bunch of letters and words, you make it be, have a meaning. Yeah. When you put, you know, what you do behind it, it doesn't. You can call yourself, you know, Uncle. Uncle, piece of crap. They'll make a difference. It. What matters is, you know, like you say, the product you put out, your your, you the stuff you put on on TikTok, you know, stuff like that is what's going to. Make that name now have a meaning. Yeah. That's going to benefit you, regardless of it being... The only difference is, is there's certain certain games and certain stuff like that that don't admit, you know, bad foul language in, 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 your, in your nickname. That's the only difference. But, I mean, a name is just a name. You're not, yeah. you're not... That's why you don't go by your name. Your name has a meaning. Like, my name has a meaning. You're born with it. But yeah. you're not going to use that in gaming because at the end of the day, it... I actually think it doesn't even work. Like, think about it. Instead of you being called Rose, right? You mm-hmm. use your actual name. It, it's, it sounds a little funny. It, it, you know, it's the same my thing. Actual, as... <laughs> my actual name kind of sounds like, I guess you could say, like a gamer tag. It's something you would hear online. Okay. But it's still, it still sounds funny. It's like, you're looking at it, it's like, damn. That, that, that don't... Like, I'll give you a perfect example. Dr. Disrespect. That name, it's perfect to the man. But now, exactly. his real name, it's cringy if you would think about it. You know, his name is Guy Beam. Really? His name is Guy Beam. 
I've never heard of him. His name before. is Guy Beam. Now you look at the character, you look at that name. Does it even match. fit? See, that's the thing. It <laughs> yeah. doesn't fit. It's it it, it might have worked good as a gamer tag, but it don't fit the character. I mean, it's like look at Ninja. The name fits. Now his real name, if you think about it, Levins. that's like vanilla name. That's pure <laughs> like bleh. So, you know, Ninja works out. He has his character, although he doesn't have kind of a character, but the blue hair and all of his characters actually in every game that they make from is a ninja with the blue hair and stuff like that. So, you know, it's like, it fits. His name does not yeah. fit. His name, oh my god. Tyler Blevins? Woo! Blevins. It's, it's, it's like, you, you, that's why you don't use your real name. So, you know, it's, you, you build an image to the name that you give yourself online. Somebody else can use the same name, which we know it happens, with a little yeah. difference here or there, but at the but let's say you're you're a very famous streamer. I'm not. I you you you're Rose. Like if I would put Rose with an underscore or something like that. People are gonna recognize me being you. Because yeah. the name is it, it's things like that. Like Ninja, like if you would have like a Ninja One, people are gonna still, when they see the name, they're gonna remember Ninja, the original, because he has that yeah. image made for the name. It's the same thing, you know. It's like, I've seen like when Doctor Disrespect disappeared for a while, there were guys that trying to do the Doctor Disrespect shtick, with the hair, and I've seen it, and it's cringy as hell, because it's not, what we know as being him. Yeah. It's just how it is. I mean, there's only one Tim the Tatman. He's a horrible player, but he's just he's a funny ass guy to watch and he has that whole thing of, you know, of of the of it's a it's a fun stream to watch. Same thing yeah. as Courage. Courage is an extremely talented player, but it's the whole thing of 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 how he is and how loud he is and how he talks and how he reacts. It's it's like that. Lupo, it's a little different. Lupo has it, Lupo is Lupo's just, just Lupo. <laughs> yeah, he's just very toxic, and he's just but he's a good player too. It's like your typical player. Yeah, but he it's just it's different. They, they they've created these 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 images of their name, not of not of, not of who they are, but of just what they are on the game. It's yeah, <laughs> you know. It, People, it's just how you have to be. Gaming world, you come to the gaming world not to be yourself. If you're coming to the gaming world to be yourself, you're better off not doing it. That's something that yeah. I personally believe because I kind of, in a way, recently have gotten into that thing of not, you know, of being myself and not being not myself on gaming. And it kind of, you know, it doesn't feel the same. It feels a little blah. So it's like I guess that's probably why I like uh, streaming on Twitch because I could be myself without being myself. Right. If you get what I mean. No, I totally like, understand what you mean. That's that's how what I'm saying. It's like I fell my personally under <coughs> the error of not of of actually being myself. So it's like yeah. you're just another person. You have to stick out on Twitch and on on any streaming platform. You got to stick out. Just don't be yourself. You, know, you gotta, you gotta flip that switch when you go when when you hit the record, you have to flip that switch that shuts your normal self off and then your streaming self on, and when you shut it off, you go back to normal. Just unfortunately, that's how it has to be. I mean, for me, I'm the same all around. I'm always goofy. I'm always just messing around. I never really take games seriously. And the funny part is, I never really take games seriously, but somehow I'm just good at it. I take my shit too and... serious. I just like I don't I I guess me personally I couldn't see myself putting on a persona for the camera. Yeah, I I I kind of feel the same way. I But see, but it's the difference between me, me and you. The difference is is you you already are creating a persona for yourself. Not your real name, not your real self, but for your gaming self because you're not yeah. showing yourself. So, technically you are creating a persona because you're not showing the real you you know, visually. 
So everything that you do mm-hmm. is going to be a persona. So even, you know, inevitably, you have created a persona for yourself. Your persona is going to be the image, you know, your, your JPEG that you put out or, you know, something like that. That's your brand. Me, yeah. regardless of whatever nickname I use, I use, it's my face. It's me. It's who I'm showing. So that's a little, that's like, it's what you're doing is the difference between, between me and you is the same thing as like Tat, Tim the Tatman and Dr. Disrespect. Disrespect is showing himself, but in a persona with the costume. Tim the Tatman is yeah. being Tim the Tim. He's being Tim. You see, you, between you and me is different. Is is the same thing. I'm showing myself, but you're showing an image. So people are going to recognize your name and your gameplay through your image. So it's like you know, you are you do have a persona, although you you didn't you know you really yeah. didn't try to. It's, but I mean. That's, I get what you mean. That's kind of going to distinguish you from all the other players, if you think about it. <laughs> but, you know. So, let's see. Do you have any games you're looking forward to that are coming out? Besides Battlefield um, that we spoke about? Yeah, apart from Battlefield, not really. Because I don't really, like, pay attention, like, anymore as much as I used to, to, like, new game releases because all i've really been focusing on is like the competitive side of like apex like i started like recently playing ranked a lot gotcha um yeah so you haven't really been focusing on like game releases you have made that jump to what i like to call the next level you found your game you know what game you want so you're regardless of anything else that you're going to play your game is going to be apex i mean it makes sense i mean at some point, everybody finds it. It's just sometimes they find it and don't realize it. You, at least now, you're dedicating to competitive. So that, you know, that, that could be your future as long as the game stays around. It's just, you know, that, that mm-hmm. itself is out of your hands. You can only work on what you can work on, which is being, you know, perfecting yourself. So, yeah. But, you know, I, I hope, you know, me and everybody here at the Long Island Game League really do hope that you do find that team that will push you to go to the next level. And that you do get there. I mean, we, we, we hope that everybody in the community, you know, makes the jump, makes the leap to the next level. <laughs> and kind of, you know, it helps also put our, the community here in Long Island on the map. Yeah. So, I mean, we really look forward to see, you know, what the future brings for you and <coughs> <I'm sorry. clears throat> how far you can go. Which, there's no limit on that, of course. I mean, it all depends on, you know, what each one of us does. But, you know, yeah. I, we, we're really looking forward to see what you do with yourself and with your gaming and with your skill set. Um, we appreciate what you do. I personally, as a small streamer, appreciate what you do with the whole, you know, uh, hosting and... Uh, <coughs> oh, God. And... and um, and rating people while you're while, when you're about to end your stream, which you know, it it, it helps it helps everybody. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> I'm gonna give you a little bit of uh you know this last couple of minutes to kind of you know put yourself a little bit more on the map. Uh, you know where can people find you? Where can people see you? Where can they find your content? The floor is yours. Um. So if you do like. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not forcing you to. Feel free. Um, all my handles are DXDRXSE um, on Twitch, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, <coughs> all that. Mostly the same. I post, like, if you see one clip on TikTok, it's most likely going to be on any of my other social medias because obviously not everybody, like, really sticks to, like, one app. So, like, say you miss out, you'll find it somewhere else. So, most of the time, if you're not seeing the same content, it's either because I just felt like it wasn't good enough to be on, like, a different platform. But most of the time, I'm active all the time. If you're interested, you can shoot me a DM. I'll gladly play with you. I'm always online, 24-7. This is, like, my main job, basically. So, I just try to get back to the community. I try to help people, inspire others. That's my main goal. So... There you go, everybody. Follow him. 
look for him you will find them it's like he says you find one social media everything's basically going to be connected together <clears throat> so look for rose we appreciate you i appreciate for you coming on being our guest um yeah. i once again i repeat i and i can speak for everybody at the long island gaming league we do hope that you have a very good future in the gaming community in the gaming world um <clears throat> that you do get to where you want to get and beyond just you know keep on striving keep on you know keep on grinding because yeah. it's a grind but you know at the end of the day if you get to where you want to it's worth it it's always worth it <coughs> but yeah. we but i appreciate you for being on taking this time to be with us and uh there we go everybody we got another one in the books this is your boy the hood bruno hope to see you guys again we do have a couple more things that are scheduled for the near future. Keep your eyes on all our social media. Take it easy, everybody. Keep on grinding. Thank you very much.